up on the ACV News Show, we have information on Martin Luther King Jr., 6th grade cotillion, and updates on the class competition standings. All this and much, much more coming up on this Thursday, January 12th, 2023, Gold Day edition of the ACV News Show. Let's go. Hi, Crocker. It's Audrey. And I'm Hannah. Let's go over to our top story. Coming up, we have a three-day weekend celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. He fought for African-American rights in the 1950s, but unfortunately was assassinated on April 4th, 1968. We celebrate his birthday every year by having a day off. Hope you have a nice three-day weekend. We will be having a long weekend with no school this coming Monday to take time to remember the great American civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and all he has fought for. He was born on January 15, 1929, and he was assassinated on April 4, 1968. He fought for civil rights and tried to put an end to the unfair and unjust treatment of members of the African American community. His idea of nonviolent resistance to achieve equal rights for black Americans acquired him the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Students, there has been a lot of rain in the past few weeks and more is in the forecast, so please make sure to stay under the eaves and walk if the ground is wet. Please don't leave your Chromebook or Chromebook out, your backpack or Chromebook out in the open. During morning recess and lunch, if it's raining, listen for Mr. Roach's announcement to see which rooms will be open. The library is open for recess and lunch recess for doing work or reading. This week we have some special people who are having a birthday. Brandon, Aisha, Ashton, Janice, Seth, Holden, Henry, and Anaya. Wish you a happy birthday. Tomorrow is National Rubber Ducky Day. We welcome the return of our Rubber Ducky Art Contest in the library, calling our, all artists and not artists to come up and pick up a paper ducky template in the library. Create your most creative masterpiece using whatever medium you like. Do it soon because entries are due next Wednesday the 18th. Turn them in into Miss Gilchrist in the library. You could win your very own rubber Ducky. Thanks to Miss Tavita for drawing our ducky template. See Miss Gilchrist for complete contest rules and any questions you might have. Earlier in the school year, our trivia team placed second nationwide in our fall trivia contest. This is amazing. If you happen to swing by the library, make sure to check out the trophy. Congratulations to the trivia team. Hi, I'm back with the weather. We have a lot of weather and are expecting more rain coming up. Today there will be a high there will be a 20% chance of rain and a high winds at around 16 miles per hour. Tomorrow there will be a 50% chance of rain. On Saturday and Sunday it will be rainy with a high of about 57 and on Monday there will be most likely rain with a high of 56. Buckle up Vikings for the high winds and rain this weekend and stay warm. Get ready sixth graders because cotillion is coming up. This is an optional dance but it's recommended for you to go. Starting January 23rd, cotillion will be weekly every Monday night at 7 for 5 weeks. This is a formal dance, so make sure to dress up. Lunar New Year is coming up on January 22nd. This year, 2023, is the year of the rabbit. During the New Year celebration, people make red-colored lanterns and hang them up around the city. There is a firework celebration on January 1st at 12 a.m. in the Bay Area and some other popular areas. I hope you all enjoy this year of 2023. Hi Crocker, this is Alexa with the sports news for this week. This Sunday, the 49ers play the Arizona Cardinals. This NFC West matchup marks the final game of the regular season and it was a fun one. 49ers receiver Samuel made his long-awaited return after injuries to his knees and ankle. 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy is looking to make some Niners rookie quarterback history with a win in the game. As predicted, the 49ers won, the final score being 13-38. to The 49ers will play the Seahawks this Saturday, January 14th for the first playoff game. Stay tuned, Crocker. On Tuesday at lunch, the Spelling Bee final was held in the library and went an amazing 16 rounds. Congrats to all our Spelling Bee participations. Here are the results. In first place, 7th grader Arjun. In second place, 8th grader Kat. And in third place, also in 8th grade, Jalen. Thank you to our spellers for showing excellent sportsmanship. You did a great job. Thank you to Mr. McKenzie, Ms. Woods, Ms. Grady, and Ms. Jones Lamb for their help as judges. Good luck to the first place winners, Arjun, as he continues to the next step on the an online test to qualify for the regional competition. We have some updates on class competition points. In third place is eighth grade with 1,967 points. In second grade, we have seventh grade with 2,427 points. And in first grade, first place, we have sixth grade with 2,657 points. Great job, sixth grade. Additionally, there is a class competition coming up this month. The competition is a fun one, so get ready, Crocker. Hi Crocker Vikings, my name is Beatrice and today I have some would you rather questions for Kylie, so let's dive on to it. Would you rather be able to eat meat, 
for the rest of your life or vegetables? Um, probably vegetables. The second would you rather is would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? 10 minutes. All right. And finally, we have would you rather have a lot of friends that you don't know are trustworthy or would you rather have one best friend that you know will never betray you? One best friend. All right. And that's the end. Bye. Get ready, Vikings. No One Eats Alone Day is coming up next Thursday, January 19th. There will be many exciting activities all around the school during lunch recess that students will be required to go to. There will be more information coming on the morning buzz, so stay tuned. Signing off, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anna. Bye. Bye.